Hey y'all, it's racing day, so loud out here I can't hear a thing. Man, the fans are going wild. And these drivers came to rock, and no place else but Fox knows how to do it in that star style. Buggity, buggity, buggity. Let's go racing, boys! Hey, now here we go, race day. Don't you be going slow. Keep that pedal down on the floor. Push it to the crowd, can't take no more. Then there, set the flag, came down the air to the last lap around. Well, don't be it's time to play. What's going on guys, it's Hockey Puck, and today we're going to be racing and in the Coca-Cola 600. I qualified 6 for this uh, race. So anyway, let's give it on to the Fox Sports booth. It's Stock Car Racing's longest night. Welcome to the Coca-Cola 600 at Charlotte. I'm Mike Joy alongside Daryl Waltrip. Mike, this is the longest race we have all year long. It's 600 miles. It's grueling. Mm -hmm. It wears you and your car out. It's just the team. The, everybody has to get involved to be able to win this race. This is the toughest race on the circuit. Joey Logano has the best average finish here. Jimmy Johnson, six wins. Jeff Gordon, five. What are you picking? Well, I like the way it came down last year. You know, between Kevin Harvick and Dale Jr., Harvick won. Got to get good gas mileage. Just ask Dale Jr. Right, Daryl. At Charlotte, the night time is the right time. Here we go. And a great call by DW there as uh, we're already high. fighting for position. Put it on the left. Three wide, two high. And we're fall filing back here. Stay low. That kind of helped the car out. And Jeff Gordon's going to go. Oh. Low. And we're going to all get tangled up here. What? What? That's not cool. What? Inside. Okay, we gotta look at this. Okay. I I I I believe I can fly. Um, photo mode. Yeah. Okay. Been here before, buddy. Come on, let's pick it up. Like, what was that? That was just crazy. I'm sorry. Oh my god. And Eric Homerol evidently gets the end, bad end of it. Racetrack's clear. Heroes now open. <laughs> Cruise on the wall. That's gonna make all the difference. Okay, so we're back out here for the restart. We decided to I decided to make a wedge adjustment. And all that fun stuff. And um, I fixed my engine because it really needed to be fixed. Car underneath. And make it easy for us today, full buddy. moon tonight, probably four in, in Charlotte. Car down low. Because uh, Keep that wouldn't have happened. The car is handling car much back. better. If only I would have found this in Watch qualifying or thought about it in qualifying. Car inside, trying to get to your corner. But. Left. We're gonna go to the back of the packs. We're gonna. Uh, how, I'll fast forward to when we uh, finally do something. Okay, we're that back momentum. in the pack here. And uh, Tony Stewart's winning the Coke 600, and we One are in top. second. <laughs> no, what? Wait, I just say we're in second. I was gonna back say Almondinger was leading a little bit ago. Nicely done, man. Car up high. I'm just finally starting to make up spots, and it's. Car high. It's actually not. It's actually. We're actually doing pretty good. That wedge Far adjustment outside, was yeah. a good, good investment. Not a good investment. I mean, whatever you want to say. 
I mean, we're just tearing through this field. I, I guess you could say. Come on, Truex, let's Keep get under low. you. Keep it low. Get under him. We're up to 23rd, Lights and we like clear, started bud. in last. So. On your rear. Or on the restart, we Check started in last. Clear right. okay, let's I don't go. know, whenever let's I race against up. people, I actually do better. Car inside you. And I think I just Looking screwed inside. up the axle Car again. One inside. So it's kind of frustrating now. Our axle's screwed. Oh, God. oh my God! Uh, oh, so there goes the track position we had. I'm just gonna go to pit road again. Okay, guys, it's a restart, and uh, we're uh, we're in 43rd again because we decided to take four tires. The and uh, fix our fix what was wrong pretty much three wide going into turn one or now t exiting turn two from the restart and we're going to try and make up Looking some really positions good, already right. I know uh, it's my fault probably that uh, Jeff Gordon got wrecked but Outside. I know I'm a Jeff Gordon fan of myself so Oh, Going come on, high. Paul. Menard. Don't seconds. mess up. Okay. Home, buddy. So we've, with all those cars that just pitted, we made up some spots, and now we're losing them. The arrow hitting us is putting Three us in the tie, Dylan. He, he won't mind. He's, he's in the, he's in the low, Xfinity series. Low. Oh, he's probably pissed. Got a car closing on your outside. He's coming high. Thank you, wide, Kurt Busch, for just sandwiching me in here. But thank you, actually. I almost actually got something positive out of that. So I guess we're going to be on the outside lane. Or we're going to try and make something in the middle. But we're not going to be able to. And uh, we, have to make, we had to make Josh Wise check up there. Stay up top. You're good right there. Car inside you. Left side's clear. Okay. Come on, Hamlin. I'm the one that's supposed to be screwing people over. Eight to go. Clear on the inside. And uh, we got like seven or six or seven laps right. to go. We're just gonna <laughs> get right into the back of Stenhouse. Not gonna even care. And, uh, Seven to go. The air hitting my car is just like vibrating. The controls are very hard right now, and we're just gonna get screwed here. So that's always nice. So I guess when I catch up, I'll uh, get it back. Okay, guys, we caught up to go. some cars. Trying to get into the top 20. Nice pass, man. Keep working. He's coming on the outside. Car and after top. the day we've had, we're uh, doing pretty There's good. Your next victim right there. One up top. Need another side. three car there. Now we're going for Jimmy Johnson. Right's clear. So. I know the last. How did Almondinger get all the way back here? We're on the high side. <laughs> he didn't even do anything. Closing on the bottom. Three back, coming low. At your door, up top. Well, I'm gonna go. Right I'm gonna side. fast forward for you guys. White is out. All right, no white flag out, guys. That's a full second. You and uh, way to go, buddy. I think the best we're gonna be able to get is maybe 14th if we can get clear ahead. of Bane here. Outside. We do. I mean, we have we have fresher tires than them, but it's just not enough to like get up there in the last corner. I don't think, and we just like messed it up. So we're pretty much we're gonna get 14th place in this race, which is pretty good. So 14th place isn't bad. 
So, um, I'm gonna go show you guys the standings. All right, guys. So, I forgot how bad I was at the beginning of this let's play, and we are in 39th position, and we are like, let's see here, 186. We are like, I think I believe like 60 points out of 30th. So we, remember we have that win at Talladega, so we'll uh, see what we can do to make up those points. Because remember, points are very key for us right now. We're gonna need, we need a lot of points to do anything. But man, Martin Truex, 32nd in the standings. He's supposed to be having a good year in 2015. And let's see, let's see if there's any surprises up here in the Chase grid so far. Let's see, Junior Stenhouse, I guess, is a surprise. Casey Kane is about Kyle Larson. I mean, these are guys that we didn't see really last year. And Brian Vickers and Austin Dillon. They're a year ahead of their time. But anyway, guys, I'm going to let you guys go. Anyway, thank you guys all for watching this, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out, everybody.